Hey guys, I'm not really sure how many of you guys have been keeping up with me lately on my vlog channel or even on like Instagram stories. I don't know. You might have seen um, some videos of me basically breaking down and having a full on meltdown on the podcast. I don't know. I just don't feel like myself. If you didn't see that, I basically, uh, I, I, I've been in a funk. I've been in a funk this whole year and I just feel guilty for feeling like this. <laughs> or not doing anything or it gets a mental fuck, you know? I've been dealing a lot with not feeling inspired or extreme unmotivation. I don't know, I just think of how fucking bad my mental health has been. <laughs> Can I be very honest? Everything in me wants me to move and just like have a fresh start, but I'm like, Alicia, that's you can't just do that in all. You can't. Honest, I don't want to move. Like, I love a fresh start, but I also love my house and I don't want to move. However, I still just feel kind of stuck where I am right now. I know in my heart I am meant to be here in LA right now. And if I was just to move just to have a fresh start, even though that might feel nice, I know that in the end that's just me running away from my problems and I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm making a list of things that I want to do or change about my life. Whether they're huge, whether they're small, I just wanna document the whole process. Even if it's something like going on more dates or changing up my bedroom, I, I just, I really feel like it's gonna help. Obviously that's still a work in progress. I think I just need to get myself out of my comfort zone and change up my life, like be spontaneous, do different things. I basically feel like I'm kind of in a toxic relationship with myself like it's not a partner it's me and myself like some of the negative self-talk that i've been having is so fucked and i've never been in this type of headspace before i'm like alicia th these negative thoughts the self-doubt like it's so exhausting so in a way I, f I i feel like i need to break up with that part of me i would never let myself be treated this way by a friend or a boyfriend so why am I allowing me to do that to myself? I don't know. I'm just tired of feeling this way and I want to fix it. So like what anyone usually does after a breakup, uh, we need to change up the hair. We are currently headed to go get my hair dyed. I'm not going blonde, okay? We've had that era. Um, Yellow is not for me. I definitely think we're not to have more fun, but I don't know what I want. But it got me thinking, why do we all cut our hair after a breakup? Like it is a thing. And after doing some extensive research, basically it said I have control issues and uh, I just, I'd like to regain some power in my life. And it wasn't, that's not wrong, you know? That's not wrong. Changing the hair. I know, I know for a fact I'm not the only person who's done this, especially because it quickly came up on that Google search. So please tell me some of your horror post breakup haircut or color stories. She's darker, it looks so good. It's funny how something so simple can do so much. The other week I put an Instagram filter on that gave me bangs and I was obsessed. I was like, wait, am I about to get bangs? But obviously a really big commitment and I ended up ordering some from Amazon. Oh my God, I'm nervous. I'm like, how do you do, you just... Oh my God. I think that looks really good, actually. Should I cut? Well, this, I feel like this looks bad right now. I disagree, I think that's really good. We're doing it. So, we gotta change my part, right? That's about it. I'm gonna <laughs> ask right now if we do this. Do you still want a part right here? Whatever you, whatever you think. Okay, step two is actually get the bangs. Now, what's the inspo? This is the inspo. Very Bella Hadid, very, very model off duty, wispy, not just a straight across thick ass bang. We want like sultry, sexy, very like chic, model chic bangs. Oh my God, am I gonna regret this? Probably taking it away with it. Yeah, I definitely want it super thin. Yeah. Like eyebrow or below eyebrow? A little eyebrow. below. A little below. Cause hers are like right, like yeah. even like in her eyes. I'm gonna do it longer first and then if you're like- We can always shorter. cut. Yeah, okay. we'll go shorter. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, where? Here? Yeah, do it like there. I haven't had 
have been since I was like a, a wee lad. <laughs> and my mom always gave me bangs, but they were always so crooked. So when I finally like grew them out, I think in like middle school, I never went back because I was like just traumatized from having like the worst bangs ever when I was little. This was my PTSD. Oh <laughs> my god. Look how uneven. <laughs> like <laughs> Like this was me even like younger and they oh were like the swoop me and I Oh my god. Let me know if you've been personally victimized from your parents oh cutting your bangs. <laughs> Essentially, I want to make a list of things to do during the very last year of my 20s. And it can be something as small as getting bangs or changing up my bedroom, going on another solo trip, or even though I'm totally dreading it, going on more dates and putting myself out there. So I don't know if this will ever see the light of day, but uh, I just want to document me trying to get my life together. <laughs> Kick for my wings, I need my hands This life is real, if they pretend Came off the 